the heart of NASCAR may be at super speedways in Daytona and Charlotte, but its soul remains at tracks where the turns come a little more quickly oh, man, that's and a disagreement gets settled right on the spot. Although Bowman Gray Stadium bills itself as NASCAR's longest running weekly racetrack, there's no big TV money here. I don't see how they afford to do it. Drivers still rely on a sponsor or three to pay the bills. Some are household names. Mountain Dew, Lowe's, Monster. I drink a lot of energy drinks. Bojangles. Yeah, I love me some Bojangles. And other sponsors who aren't well known. Adams Toe and Doug's here. Beyond their family and friends. Coma. John's cleanup supply. <laughs> But it is these local sponsors who make this work, even if some are late to the game. I've only been going to the races for a year and a half now. I don't know much about it. I know you're supposed to go and turn left all the time and uh, you know, get to the finish line first. Yet John Fitzgerald quickly saw that this was a place where he could find a lot of customers. John Fitzgerald, the attorney. Yeah, a lawyer. We like him. A lawyer who specializes in DWIs and other traffic offenses so he figured the back of a car was the perfect place to hang his shingle. This is a natural place to sponsor. And not so much because of what is running around the track as because of those watching and pulling intently for their favorite one doing that. They're so loyal to their drivers. Uh, they check the driver's websites and Facebook pages all the time. If the driver says, hey, you need to do business with this person, they do. They're very loyal. And drivers never miss a chance to do that. Every time we're out there, it's Hayes Jewelers, Hayes Jewelers, Hayes Jewelers. Spoken from the side panel at nearly 70 miles an hour. The record speed Tim Brown set on a lap here in his Hayes Jeweler Chevy. You've got, you know, 15, 18, 20,000 family members that come in here every Saturday night. And then when they need to buy jewelry, hopefully they go to Hayes Jewelers. It really works. Brown's sponsor has been running in fast company for a lot of years and has always found that local racing drives people to his store in Lexington. We started back in the 50s uh, doing uh, some of the modified drivers. It's unbelievable that the people, that, that type of people that will come in here on Sunday, that's been there on Saturday night and through the week and want to talk about racing. I got my earrings from him. From who? From Bruce. This type of racing may have more brand loyalty from fans than even the big boys in Sprint Cup. So I think the fans here get to know their drivers personally, uh, almost can reach out and touch them. I think that's why people are so loyal to their drivers. But being involved in local racing is still affordable enough that a small law practice like John Fitzgerald's can play the game. All I need to do is get a couple clients a year to get my money back out of it. And on those nights when your driver comes by with the checkered flag, you feel like a winner, whether you find a new customer or not.